Hi guys, this is the water slide problem. Um, you can read the full question down in the description below. But I'll describe it real quick. Um, so we got a, an object or a person who's going with a velocity of v. Let's see, listen, velocity. It doesn't. It didn't say like an x or y. It just said velocity. Going down, and when when it reached the bottom, the whole change and energy was or the V was and the only in the X direction okay and what does that tell us that tells us that if the whole thing was in the um, in the X direction the V is in the X direction that means that the V Y is zero the V Y is zero because it's gonna start from zero here because there was no initial velocity to it because everything was in the x direction and they gave us the d which is the distance from here to here and the y is the distance from between the slide and the water so here there is water here okay so they're asking us um, what's the mechanical energy from the top to the bottom that right? Yeah. Yeah, they want a mechanical energy of the of the child. Well, it's a child at the top. Well, the mechanical energy doesn't really change. So you can either use it as a um, change of potential or change in kinetic energy. Okay. I'll use the change in kinetic energy. Okay. All right, so changing kinetic energy, we need um, so changing kinetic energy is equal to k e final minus k e initial. So k e final, we need we need so it's half m v final squared minus half m v initial squared. Well, we got the initial, which which is the one they gave us, the whole velocity, remember, the whole velocity. Okay, so we just need to find the V final, like the speed of the, the thing here. And also remember, it's going to have an X, and it's going to have a Y. Okay, the X is not going to change, it's going to stay the same as here, because there is no acceleration in the horizontal. But there is acceleration in the y. So here it started with only horizontal. There was no vector for the um, the vertical speed, the vertical velocity. So it's going to increase as it goes down because there is acceleration due to gravity. Okay. So they give us the y here. So what, what we need is to find... Um, what is the vy here? Okay, so let's find the vy. So vy squared will be equal to vy. Well, this is final, this is initial squared plus 2ax. Um, this is just equation of motion, as I remember. Yeah, so this one is equal to zero, remember, because it started from zero all the um, velocity was only horizontal. This is really important to um, like master or really know is that there is a horizontal component and there is a vertical component. So Vy will be equal to 2ax. Well, x here is y. Not to confuse you. So all the whole thing is under square root. Okay. Alright, so we found v y well we can say final okay so let's find um, the time for it to get from here to here so we can figure out what is the what is the vx at the end here from using the d here and the time because both of them going from here to here is the same time from going to here to here so 
let's find the time. So Vy final will be equal to at. Well, this is plus Vy um, initial, but we ignore this again. So time will be equal to Vy final divided by a. This way we find the time for it to go from here to here. So after we find the time, we can figure out what is the Vx here. So we know Vy final here. We just need to know the Vx, Vx final here, which is the same as here. So we have D and we have the time, so we can find the Vx. So V is equal to distance divided by time. This is Vx final. Okay, so you have the D, it's a given, and the T, you're going to find it here in this case. Alright, so we found the Vx final and we found the Vy final. And if you look back here, we're looking at V final, not like Vx or Vy, because we're looking at the, the velocity vector, not the components of it. So in order to find the v, the velocity vector for this um, the child here, we're just doing Pythagoras because that's what we're looking for. That's the vector we're looking for. So Pythagoras, Vx final squared plus Vy final squared. Then you'll find your V here. Okay. And then, it's simple now, just apply that here. So your equation should look like 2 um, v final squared minus v initial squared. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so the second one is um, how high is the top of the slide above the bottom of the slide? So they want the height of the slide from here down to here. So just from here to here. Okay. All right. Um, we can say that the. Well, I can assume. Well, they assume that the zero is here. Okay. Well, in in this case, to answer this question, like an easier way. Well, that's my way at, at least. Is get is that I'm gonna set the bottom of the, of the slide as the zero. Okay. So, potential energy, well, let's say it's U, U is potential energy. Okay. So, U will be equal KE, kinetic energy. Okay. Well, actually, U initial plus KE initial will be equal to KE final. Okay. So the whole energy that the child started with, he started with um, with the velocity and he started with the potential due to the height that he has. Okay. And here, since I said that the zero is, is this here, so that means that the H will be equal to zero. So when we do here the U final, this will go to zero. Okay. So U U I the potential initial at the beginning here is just M G H and H will be the height of the slide. Plus K E initial, the kinetic energy initial, which is just this guy here. So half M V um, the V initial, V initial, okay, remember it's this speed here, the, the speed or the velocity that it started with, don't confuse it with any of those, the velocity that it started with, the initial one, will be equal to half M V squared, so now which V is this one? I'll give you a second to think about it. 
What do you think? Is it this one or this one here, the whole thing? No, it's this one. Nope, not this one. It's this one. Alright, so it's VX. Okay. So it's just math. We can take out the M's. So H will be equal to... Well, this is squared here. So VX squared minus V initial squared divided by 2G. This math is right. Oops, you can see that anyway. Okay. I hope I did the math right. If any any confusion 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 confusion. If you don't get anything or you see anything wrong in this, I just did it on the spot now. But yeah, you get the concept of it, okay? Alright. Now this helped you. Take care.